Rob Busters, Iron Workers, and all construction. Welcome back to Hard Labor Media, and thanks for clocking in. Today, we're going to be learning how to do figure eights or X ties. Their main benefit is that they're easier and more maneuverable than your saddle tie counterparts. If you see my tutorial on how to tie saddles, you might remember that I pointed out the difficulties of having a tight form on the back side. Figure eights mitigate some of these difficulties. These are strong ties, but not as strong as your saddles. So keep that in mind when you're considering the strength of your ties and what application you're going to be doing. Another downside of figure eights is that if you make a mistake and want to cut the tie, it's much harder to get that bar free from the wire than it is with your saddles because of the cross. There are two methods. There's a front X and back X or front cross, back cross, you know, whatever you want to say. I started with front X, so that's what I typically do. It wasn't until later in my ironworking career that I realized I can do a back X. Now, remember, this all comes down to what you're most comfortable with. So do that as your primary. However, be competent in all techniques because you don't know what type of situation you're gonna be in where a certain technique just might be better than another and it won't be your primary. So become comfortable with all forms. Now let's remember we have to read our rebar first. So let's remember our quadrants. One, two, three, and four. And let's also remember that we have to read the orientation of the bar. So the four bar is the bar that's closest to you and it's either perpendicular or it's parallel. Perpendicular is perpendicular to your eyes. Your eyes go this way obviously so perpendicular is going to be going up and down or it could be going parallel with your eyes. Obviously your eyes go this way and that bar will also be going this way. So we're going to take those into consideration when we're doing our X ties. So we're going to start with our front X parallel. So enter quadrant three, exit quadrant four. Now you're gonna grab the tip, not down the wire. You're gonna grab the tip. You're gonna pull yourself some wire. A little bit longer than you might think, about like eight or nine inches. That's what I do, okay? Then you're gonna give yourself one more tug just to make sure that wire is snug, okay? Following, you're gonna use your middle finger to support it underneath so that your bite doesn't start falling up and down. Okay, next, you're gonna have your pointer finger remain about two inches away from your parallel, and you're gonna stab into quadrant two, okay? See? And you're gonna have your thumb and that pointer finger pinch that wire so that now you can manipulate it left and right, okay? You're gonna put your hand left so that the, this wire goes right. You're gonna grab your wire. Now before you pull your wire back, you're going to have your left hand come back to center and then you're going to let go, but you're not going to release it. You're just going to have that hook just dangle off your, off your index finger right here as so, so that when you pull it, it just glides right off. See? Now it's center. Now you go straight. Into your, into your snap, I was about to say saddle. Into your snap, boom. Okay, you see? Now that right there, let me show y'all. That right there is a beautiful looking figure eight, front X. Okay, boom, boom. Now we're going to do back X parallel. And what that looks like is right here. We're going to enter, enter into quadrant three. Okay, exit out of quadrant one. Now this is different than our typical snaps. Because remember with our snaps during parallel, we always enter quadrant four. But here on our back X parallel, we're going to enter quadrant three, exit quadrant one, grab the tip again. Okay. Remember, now we're going to pull ourselves about eight, about eight, nine inches again. Give ourselves a good little tug so that we're nice and tight on that back bar. Next, we're going to keep our index here, but we're going to push our wire through. Oops, my bad, I hit you guys. 
Now we're gonna push our wire through quadrant four. Okay, and it's gonna make that bend. But we're not just gonna go back and grab all in there for the wire. We're actually gonna use our pointer and middle finger to help us bring it back through quadrant two. So that's way easier to grab. Bingo. Pull ourselves back and down. And we're at the same time, we gotta get our finger out of there. Okay? Don't get your fingers stuck up in there. Right? Okay, it's not gonna be a fun time. So here, boom. Back into our snap. And that right there is a back X parallel. Okay, next we're gonna get into our front X verticals. So, enter quadrant three, exit quadrant two, grab your tip, pull yourself about eight or nine inches, give yourself a nice good little tug. Keep your index right here rested on that vertical. Now, you're gonna stab your pliers into quadrant four. See? But you're still gonna be pinching that wire right here. Now it's right here, and it's you're not gonna be able to get a whole lot of manipulation from there. You know, you could get your middle finger to come back and you know try to help you out if there's a form behind you. You know, it could do some good. But for the most part, I leave it there and just go straight back there and grab it. Now we're gonna readjust our left hand to get it centered on our crosshair and pull back. Boom. And we're straight into our snap. Heel twist. And now we have our back X vertical. So what we're gonna do, enter in quadrant three, exit quadrant one, pull yourself again about eight, nine inches. Another tug, get it nice and tight. Okay, next we're gonna stab into quadrant two, but again, we're gonna have our pointer finger make us a bend. Boom. Okay. Now you can manipulate your wire a little bit to help it go into quadrant four because that's where, oops, hit you guys again. Because that's where you guys are going to grab your wire. Now, just pull and don't re-manipulate re yourself anywhere else. Just pull again and, and just let the wire slide off your finger. Boom. Get back into your snap. X vertical. Jesus. Hit the I hit the camera. <laughs> 